This is your Solana Daily Debrief. It's the 27th of July. Heaps of stuff to cover, especially with BTC and stuff, so stick around. We will, of course, cover plenty of Sol stuff as well. BTC is coming up, and that's kind of a, a bit of a no-brainer, given the fact there's a BTC conference on. And Solana's up a little bit, ETH up a little bit as well. Sol actually flipped BNB in terms of market cap, but it's fallen back down below. Now, this is a bull case by Michael Saylor. Come 2045, Bitcoin, he thinks, could be as high as almost 50 million, but as a bearish case, like 3 million per BTC. Key has this point here. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Basically, he thinks the bull cycle is going to run until mid-2025. You can still things, you can still have things that pop after that, but let's say May or June. If it's that, then I think that's way too short. So I hope it's not that. Past cycles had profit realization periods of about 18 months. It started four months ago this time. So ultimately, we have to go mostly by, in my opinion, the on-chain data, because like the whales do control everything. And when we think that this cycle will be different, we've been wrong in the past, so we'll probably be wrong again. In the last cycle, there was a very key point, and then there was still rallying that happened after that point, but it was like terror and just like people just flew, they just put money into something that just collapsed. So this is probably going to be pretty accurate. There'll still be opportunities after this, of course. There's going to be a lot of clips on Twitter, and I'll also link you to as well, regarding the Bitcoin conference. This is Robert... Uh, F. Kennedy saying he'll sign an executive order for the U.S. to buy 550 Bitcoin a day until they build a reserve of 4 million BTC if elected president. I mean, it's, it's nice. He won't be elected president, though, but whatever. Now, this other key metric is quite interesting. $1 invested in Bitcoin increased market cap by $5, whereas for ETH, it was only 1.3. I don't know what it was for Sol, but either way, I do feel that this cycle is far more about like Sol and Bitcoin. And if there's something else that pops with a strong narrative, I definitely want to focus on that as well, or spend some time. But I just don't think that ETH is going to really have that kind of push. Mt. Gox Reserve has decreased by 66%. Nevertheless, the price has increased, which is good. And Mag thinks that Bitcoin just reclaimed the bull market support bands. In other words, we should be good. Last time this happened, Bitcoin's price jumped by 171%. This is not financial advice. This is the viewpoint of a trader. This part is good, though. So Gumshu points out Solana dominance just hit a new all-time high. And this is, this is incredible because even the previous cycle, when Sol was $250, we still didn't have this percentage of the entire crypto market cap. So even though the price is not higher, our dominance is higher. This happened now, as you know, it flipped back. So old news, I guess you could say. Jupiter have gone and put out a new uh, UI. It looks really, really clean. You have to go to edge.jupiter.ag and then you can see everything here. So like it just it just works a lot better if you want to go all right swap limit dca it's just fast i like it meow says that next week is going to be very important for dupe just all about the token supply reduction there'll be another vote so make sure you vote remember you get active staking rewards and i'll cover this in detail next week but just just be ready that next week is not the week that you decide not to watch my content jupiter's daily perps trading hits an all-time high of 1.13 billion so there is a lot of money going here. There's a lot of money going to, you know, drift as well and centralized exchanges. But I am seeing this major push where my thesis is a lot more people will leave the big exchanges and move on chain. They still need to get better on on chain though, but this is cool to see. This is a little reminder. I've got a video on this. You've got a little bit of time to go and claim your bonk rewards. It's only like $7 worth of Manta, but maybe it's worth it. Maybe like, I think it's worth it just to learn how to do something that you probably don't know how to do. It took me quite a bit of time to work out and my researcher quite a bit of time. We worked it out a little bit confusing. It wasn't too confusing, but a little bit confusing. And then we managed to go and make that tutorial. So it's $7 worth of Manta. But if Manta becomes like a blockchain that you want to go and play on, then you've got some funds over there. Are you ready to become a Bonk Olympian? Yes. The answer should be yes. So as you know, the lucky dragon tail, or as you should know, you want to build this out. And then whoever builds it out, I imagine there's going to be a nice fat airdrop of bonk in the future. So you definitely want to build that out. You can't buy the part that you build out either. You need to use a specific wallet, covered it before, and it's bonkbets.io. This is not legal advice, but you can use a VPN here to see, to change countries, to then see the website. Having said that, I'm saying you can, as in it is possible, not I'm giving you permission. So just letting you know, that you need to agree to the terms of services. I will do this when I'm in another country. 
Okay, next bit of news. DeFi surge. Cool. Good to see. Tudosol is still just leading, doing really, really well. Camino Finance is doing fantastically well. I think Marinade Finance is also going to make a bit of a bang. But remember, with your soul, I know this is, I've said it many times, but stake your soul. Stake it with validator.com, of course. That helps me, helps the channel, helps you. Even if you've got like one soul, if it just sits in this random wallet, don't let it sit there by itself. It needs to, it needs to be staked. Otherwise, you're losing to inflation and you want to capture those rewards. This here I'm just putting on your radar. Don't like it or anything like that. I'm just putting it on your radar. Probably mentioned it once and maybe once more. And if it gets more traction, maybe one more time. But you can go and get yourself a dot .link. This is like a domain name. Uh, so you can go and buy mother.link. And this is like, maybe someone's already just bought this. Okay, that doesn't work. Either way, it's like $23 in Seoul at current prices, maybe $25 in Seoul. And it's just, you know, you can use it as a domain name. I like Blinks, but this is valuable. I don't necessarily agree or completely think so. Could be for you. Margin 5, they've introduced Margin Loop. So you can go and loop something. This here is a little bit interesting though, because this has been leveraged up entirely and you're basically, net, you're earning like an extra 1%, which is fine, but is it worth the hassle? I mean, that's just a bad example. I tried it out briefly, couldn't get it to work, but I didn't spend a lot of time. I imagine there's going to be a product like this that comes to Camino. So you can either try this now, which probably a good idea. And if you like it, cool. Just it's not going to be worth your time if you're getting 1% extra, right? Prediction markets, as I know, as you know, coming to drift. I'll cover it briefly when it comes out. But like when it comes to the election stuff, I, I probably don't care too much about putting on an actual prediction bet. PayPal's PYUSD stablecoin. This has just increased massively on Solana. So that's really been used. Another thing, like obviously that's mostly due to Camino and, you know, Camino's got some deal with them to make sure this gets into use, but it's been used really just for you like yield farming, but still it's been used. And you can actually use this to send to people with a PayPal US account, which is cool. It'd be great if we could use PayPal USD to send it internationally to anyone with a PayPal account, like in Europe, but we can't. This is some general new news in the ecosystem. I've met I am Cadence. I met him in 2022 and the guys, the guys are really stellar guy. Like whenever I have questions like on bulk, I ping him and he replies back and not everyone replies back. Sadly, even if it's something to improve recognition of their product or DAP or something they're affiliated with. Either way, he's now the interim Boogle CEO. Now I know not everyone likes the Boogles. This is how you have to view things in my opinion. So the Boogles, there are hundred Boogles and some own more than one. So they might be like 90 boogles or something like that. They're very expensive, like a couple thousand sold. So it's a hefty price tag. It's like a very exclusive plug kind of club. And they can go and do early angel rounds and stuff like that. Now they all have their own individual thesis. They're supposed to have a, a guide where like you can't do anything wrong. And then otherwise you just like, you can't be part of this. Having said that, like that, you know, they're going to get access to pre-sales and private rounds and they're there to make money, but they're also taking on the risk to lift up the ecosystem. Sometimes I see like, like there's one guy, I can't even remember his name, but like just, just being an absolute douche on Twitter. So there are still douches in private clubs, but this guy is a legend. So follow I am Cadence. He's a legend. Super Team Earn, another banger content bounty. Banger. Cash loves this word. So I wonder if he, if he wrote this. Make content to highlight Camino Finance's benefits to meme coin traders. $2,000 up for grabs. You've got eight submissions thus far. One day, 17 hours remaining. This is the scope. If you know how to do this, it's probably worthwhile. I could do it, but maybe someone that's more familiar with meme coins can do it. Now some meme coins. So Bubble Maps have said this. We checked how much of the supply was sniped by insiders and those celebrity coins. And well, basically Iggy said, I could probably sue. You could probably be sued for defer well, deformation, defamation, and and she put a whole thesis here. Now, I don't think you could sue for defamation. Like, it, I think it's accurate. Not her insiders, but it's actually insiders of the project. Because, you know, how this is, how this was all set up was um, someone comes along and says, I'll help you do this. And then they've got, a, they've got their own agenda. That's not my point here. My point is Iggy's just hustling and hustling and hustling where she really wants mother to do well. So I actually think she had a tweet recently where she said, I've gone through and I'll just tell you what it says. I've gone through and I have like bookmarked people that have been bagging mother or whatever. And when the time is right, I'm going to come and I'm going to say, I told you so or something along those lines. So I feel that she's really motivated 
Like in other words, it might be worth grabbing some mother not financial advice. Now, Ansem is one of the goats when it comes to meme coin trading. Just be aware that he's going to have a decent kind of bag in all these, and that's going to almost push him up, and then he's probably going to take profits and dump on you. That's just, that's an opinion, right? I don't know that for sure. Don't sue me for defamation. Anyway, you've got all these different things. S tier with Mitchy Mogged, A, B, C, D, F tier, Daddy. Maybe you want a small bag of each of these. It could be worthwhile. Literally, it's like it's something now and maybe take some profits. If they go up, not financial advice, but it's a good idea to take what you put in. So if you go and spend $1,000 on these meme coins and let's say each tier gets one, two, three, four, five. We won't worry about this. We won't even worry about this necessarily. This is too hard. Maybe we go with one, two, three, four. Everyone gets 25% and then we put in like 2% of this. We spend 102% of what we're wanting to do. And then you go and split, split it amongst all of them. Keep it, keep it all in one wallet. And then from there, if things pump, take some profits. Just monitor that actual wallet. We might even do this. I'll get some money. I'll put it into a separate video and we'll go do it. And I'll just tell you how it's done. That is not going to be in any way financial advice, but this might be something you're interested in. This is Bitcoin Magazine. This is the conference in Nashville. So you may want to go and check out this YouTube channel to see what's going on. There'll probably be some pretty good clips there. And now quickly, let's just jump into my crate run. I'm going to open these. And while I'm opening these, I'm just going to, we'll come back to this. I'll just show you here this. This is just now being pinned. I hadn't read it before. So Infidex's mission is to accelerate mainstream on on-chain adoption. In order to do this, we are unifying decentralized ecosystems and applications under a single UX layer built specifically for a Web2 audience. Dig in, learn how, but this is one of what I'm pointing out. If you're not in Discord, then have a read of this. If you know how to play poker, then go jump into this poker club Wednesday. This is UTC plus one time, local time. So I'll wake up early for this. I'm not good at poker, but I think it's worth me actually giving it a go. Wednesday, July 31st, I'm telling you now, just so you at least go and join the Discord. First prize is 200,000 GP, which allows you to mint one patron NFT, which is worth $5,000. All right, let's have a look and see if these have opened. By the way, I think you know this, but when you open these, there's a transaction that comes and it's on the, on the base network. So it's really cool. All right, so nothing amazing there. We'll go and stake it. And that's basically that. Actionables, watch for Jupiter's updates. Join uh, Camino Finance's meme coin bounty on, on Super Team. Maybe consider DCA into Mother and Bonk, not financial advice, but there could be something you want to do. Buy a ledger and keep yourself more secure. I will have some tutorials coming out on setting up a ledger in the very near future and try out the new Jupyter Spot feature. So edge.jupe.ag. Finally, watch my breakpoint video. I just put this out yesterday. Try and get yourself to breakpoint. I haven't even really sold people on the reason why, but other than all the speakers that you're going to learn, and remember, it's all about, in my opinion, it's hearing a whole lot of different viewpoints. And this is really crazy because like, even if you go and speak to like the gaming, if you watch a gaming panel, they all have completely different viewpoints. Some I completely disagree with, some I completely agree with, but then I start to learn a different viewpoint. And this really helps build this conviction. It's going to be fairly expensive for most people. Like, let's say you put the number at like five and a half thousand dollars. But if you can make that happen, that's not really that much in crypto terms. I think it's exceptionally plus EV. Airdrop actionables. Sign up to Cube Exchange, stake bonk with bonkrewards.com. Join Adjustrator Finance Discord and get beta access. And that's finished. So that's all for today. Have a good weekend. Touch grass tomorrow. And I'll catch you on Monday.